President Obama in Boise, Idaho, just a couple of hours ago, saying he wants to get to yes with the Republican Congress. We're back with our panel. Charles, how about that? Looks like he still knows how to stir up a college audience. Uh, I mean, this sort of reinforces uh, the idea uh, that I am sure will be the epitaph of the Obama presidency. He couldn't govern, but he sure knew how to campaign. As he said in the State of the Union address, the best line he had and the most revealing was, I won twice, you know, uh, sort of uh, congratulating himself. Look, everything he presented last night, all of these, the uh, tax proposals and also the, the new entitlements, he knows are going nowhere. He did it, and in the State of the Union address, you're supposed to actually, if you're serious about it, even semi-serious about it, you want, you want to present the outlines of a real agenda. This was done entirely to seize the stage and the agenda after the, after the shellacking he took in the last election, to pretend he's still in charge, to put the Republicans on the defensive, which is exactly what you saw on that soundbite, show me, work with me, you know, this kind of adolescent stuff. But it had no relationship with reality. And the reality he described of the great economy returning, he's had two quarters of growth, and he's acting as if it's the California gold rush. But, Laura, what about this argument that he is driving now the conversation, and you that bet. Republicans have not put forward proposals? And where are theirs? I will argue that he is setting the agenda. Uh, Barack Obama lost, and he acts like he won. Republicans win. And they act like, oh my gosh, we got to work with Obama. We got to show we can govern. We got to do this. I mean, they're jumping to the media's narrative, the Republicans, instead of soberly looking at the situation and say, gosh, this guy really doesn't want to work with us. Charles is right. He's not serious about these policies, but he is serious about defying recent history. The recent history of a two term uh, president, Republican or Democrat, turning the White House over to the opposite party. He wants his legacy to be a political legacy. I turned the keys over to the White House to the person who would follow me, Hillary Clinton. I think that's what this is really about, stealing the populist thunder from the Republicans. The middle class is ailing. We're going to give them a raise. And those gr Grinches out there want to keep that raise from those poor middle class people. Look, I don't buy any of this. I think it's very cynical. But it's his political strategy. And if the Republicans aren't clear in appealing to that middle class anxiety out there, I think they're going to find themselves in a strategy problem, in a, in a policy hole. We better start seeing some real policies because otherwise people say well what are the republicans doing for me so strategy wise i think he's he's smart i don't buy anything he's saying but it's the only thing he has to but offer that's the point it was a campaign speech oh, absolutely it wasn't a governing speech Never.